What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna go take you through a training session with my tracking dog, Bailey, and at least show you what I'm doing to get her prepared for deer season when I kill my first deer this year. Well, here she is, this is Bailey. She's about four and a half years old. at all ready for some more <laughs> but that's the other thing you end up running into crossing paths of the same she's same a deer now girl. so until next time uh keep shooting never stop so one of the first things i do is make sure i spray down my boots whatever i'm going to be walking around in with any sort of scent control killer because you don't want your dog to be picking up on your scent instead of the deer hide or whatever, the scent that you want them to pick up on. So this is just a little precautionary thing. I don't think you have to do this and I didn't do this at the beginning, but she's getting a little bit more advanced to where she's, uh, I just wanna make sure that she's not picking up on my scent. So I'm gonna let that dry and then uh, get everything else ready. So I just got this from uh, my local Cabela's Bass Pro. It's just a deer hide. And then I have this uh, blood trail scent. And uh, I mean, seems to work. So yeah, just take this blood trail stuff, put it on the deer hide, just do a couple drops. Do it on that side, the fur side. And also I do a little bit on the hide part. That's it. Let that dry and then uh, we'll get to it. All right, so all you do here is I just got it on a leash, which it comes with. I just drag it on the ground right behind me. So you guys need to get a little tour of my property. And we'll see if she does the track correctly and actually goes right, right where I walked. We'll see. Go in through this trail. I'm gonna make it a little harder on her this time too. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours and then, uh, I mean, be more realistic that, that way anyways, let the blood trail sit and then uh, come back with her and see if she can figure it out. This way. And uh, when, we, when I first started uh, doing this with her, they say to uh, give her super easy ones first. So literally all I did is just pulled this thing like, I don't know, 20, 30 feet or so and parked it in the middle of the grass. So it was easy to find, it is easy to smell and give her good, you know, give her some treats and some, you know, celebrate with her like, good job, good job. Make sure you, you know, positive reinforcement. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all I did and just slowly gradually got harder and harder with her and uh, now we're to this point where I think, I think this year she'll be, uh, she'll be good to go to take her on some tracks. So let's do this. This is gonna be a hard turn here. I'm gonna take her into the woods here. Let's go straight on through here. Kind of on this little deer trail here. And I won't make this too difficult for her. I haven't done one in a couple weeks with her, so bring it right over here. And I'll put it right by this uh, tree here. Just like that. And I always put the dark side down so it's not as easy to see for her. And that's it. Another thing to think about when you're doing these tracks, when you're setting your actual, um, that deer hide, is to 
know which way you're prevailing, like your, your wind direction is. So, um, for instance, I just put it out there in those trees or in, in the woods there, and uh, this is gonna make it easier on her. So the wind is blowing this way. So I'm guessing when she comes down this trail over here, she's gonna come down here and she's gonna smell it coming from over there. And then she'll, whoop, she'll probably wind or uh, um, she'll probably end up not even putting her nose to the ground here anymore. And she'll just go from with her nose with the wind scent, you know? So now, like I've said already, um, I'm gonna let that sit for a couple hours probably. It'll be more realistic for an actual deer trail that I'll take her on. Um, I'm gonna take her on some easy ones at first. Hopefully this first deer I shoot is an easy one. She has not been on a track yet. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty hopeful because she, she finds this thing every single time. So I'm not too worried about her not figuring it out, but I just still do want the first one to be easy for her. Well, here she is, this is Bailey. She's about four and a half years old. All right, we started it right about here. Bailey, smell it, smell it, smell it, find it, find it, find it, find it. It's always good to have a command and say the same thing. So right now she's crossing the path. Oop. Come on, find it, find it. She just goes back and forth, back and forth over the trail. Find it. Find it. Find it. Good girl, find it. Find it. Good girl, find it. Good girl, find it. Good girl. Find it, find it, find it, find it. This is the tricky part. I thought she'd get lost and she does not. She can tell she's not, her nose isn't to the ground. Good girl, find it, find it, find it, Bailey, find it, find it, find it. Oh, good girl, find it, find it, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, find it. Find it. Find it. Oh, a little rub there. Find it. Yeah, that's exactly where we went. Find it. She found it. Good girl, baby. That's a good girl. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Well, there you have it, folks. She found it with no problem at all. She's ready for some more. <laughs> but that's the other thing. That's the other problem is you can pretty much only do one a week. You end up running into crossing paths of the same, the same scent trail of this thing. So <clears throat> you don't want to confuse them. You want to make sure that they have positive. Uh, every time they do this, it's a positive thing, positive reinforcement. After they find it, you're, you know, good job, good job. I think she's ready for uh, her first actual deer track. It's just a matter of shooting a deer now. So until next time, keep shooting, never stop.